Okay, so I'm on my first um, mom staycation. Nobody's calling my name. I don't have to nurse anybody. Now I don't even know what to do with myself. So, yeah. Look at this cute room. I love it. And you see the skyline. Okay, so I'm on my first um, mom staycation room because I'm like, I just want to relax and I want to just chill because nobody's calling my name. I don't have to nurse anybody. I don't need to get anybody ready for bed. I don't have to make dinner. I don't have to clean. But because that's how much those things have consumed my life for the last five years i literally don't know how to operate when i am not doing one of those things or when i don't have something to do like relaxing doesn't even feel natural for me well, i feel like motherhood has just been like this roller coaster of um so much joy and so many challenges all at the same time it's just been such a learning journey for me and so because of that i've literally been just trying to grow as an individual in the midst of motherhood um, and I've learned so much about myself since becoming a mom because it literally has pruned me in so many ways like so many of my habits that were really self-serving were not really serving well as a mom for example like um I get overwhelmed and I get anxious very easily because of clutter and chaos and not sticking to the plan and when you have kids things always change you're never on time or at least we're never on time a kid gets sick and you gotta adjust or somebody uh needs to go to the bathroom or they're having a difficult time and you need to cancel plans and like those things like in a previous season of my life would make me really really anxious and so now because I have so many other people who I'm responsible for, I've had to learn how to actually adjust and grow and become more flexible in schedules and be more um, understanding of change and uh, comfortable with change, like getting comfortable in the uncomfortable. And so that has been like a very difficult process for me to really get through um, my brain and my being to really just like release control because I've always wanted to be or felt like I was in control of so many of these situations in my life and what I was doing and my decisions and like all of that has changed. And now that I'm on my own, like I was in this previous season of my life before I got married, now I don't even know what to do with myself. Like I could watch a movie, but I'm about to go to dinner and sit. I had brunch for myself earlier and that was like, nice but also weird because um not used to being by myself and as much as i crave and yearn alone time and quiet time now that i have it i don't even know what to do with myself so yeah i'm gonna go to dinner now and then come back and do a little nighttime routine because i don't have anybody to be responsible for and relax hopefully We'll see how this goes, but I'm so grateful. Dinner time. I think I'm gonna drive around until I find something that looks good. <laughs> so crazy for putting on sandals in this cold weather but my nail tech told me that I needed a couple of hours so that my toes could dry but now I'm freezing because I don't have a jacket on and I have sandals on
I think one of the things that I have started to appreciate um, as I've become an adult and obviously through motherhood is just the slow and simple life. I've always been a part of this hustle culture and I feel like motherhood and the Lord has really forced me to slow down in all things um, because I just can't keep up. And it's weird because I feel like there's so many things that I'm able to do now like taking care of kids and keeping kids alive and doing all the things that I do now, you know, keeping a house clean and homeschooling and cooking. Outside of that, it's it just doesn't always feel um, the same as when you're like in the hustle culture of, you know, just grinding to do whatever it is that you're trying to work on and work towards. But I feel like as I've gotten older and had more kids, I've just started to appreciate the slowness of life and the simplicity of life and really trying to simplify my life. That was my whole goal for this year was to simplify and slow down. Like that first step of slowing things down, which for me looks like being present in the moment and not rushing from thing to thing and not always having a schedule. Like I originally thought that my homeschooling journey was going to be like very structured and kind of look like school and we're going to stay on this schedule but what I really learned in this first I guess semester of homeschooling really is like the freeness that my kids get when we just do a short lesson um, and play and use the rest of our day to play and be creative and use our imagination like it goes so much better and smoother for everybody so i'm trying to really simplify everything and i feel like right now even in this staycation like being present and slowing down and not feeling like i gotta do all the things that like i want to do but really aren't going to help me re-energize and reset so i hope for the next 12 hours i can do that and just slow down and be present with myself and process whatever it is that I am going through, watch TV and do mindless things so that I can be fuller for my kiddos tomorrow. It's like, what? And I feel like a whole new woman. That's the power of doing nothing. So I actually have to now, because I've just been laying in this bed, now I need to get up because I'm going to get my massage. Um, I'm gonna try to grab some tea on my way to getting this massage. And then, yeah, let's do this. It's so weird not waking up to noise and crying and people hanging on me and all the things. It's just, it's like a weird, I miss my babies. But also, give me another day. <laughs> a lot of times when you are not a parent, you have these opinions and you have these thoughts about like what being a parent looks like or how you would be as a parent and how you would still like do a lot of the similar things that you did beforehand, but it just changes you and it helps you experience love at a different level. <sighs> so I've never done a get ready with me. Mostly because I never have time to get ready. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. And I also don't remember sponges, so. Okay, y'all, this is mom life. And I've thought so much about doing these get ready with me. Um, I forgot my sponge in the car because that's usually where I do my makeup. Um, 
yeah so this is gonna be a little ratchet way that i put my makeup on because now i can't walk out of this hotel looking a mess and um yeah and my makeup routine is all about two or three steps which is foundation blush and mascara and on a good day i might put on what is this called bronzer but today i'm not because i'm not going anywhere special um and yeah but i shout out to all the people who do these get ready with me's because mm -mm. Really, all I want to do is talk. I don't really care about this makeup stuff because I'm always at home. I work from home unless I'm at a birth or meeting at a client's house, in which case I'll get dressed up. But even at home, when I'm working from home, I might put on a little basic stuff, but not too much, which I guess is a blessing. And sometimes I just want to get dressed up. Sometimes I want to put makeup on and I do honestly feel a lot better in the morning when I'm able to put myself together. Um, so hopefully moving into this new year, I will start to wake up before my kids, which has not been the case in um, five years. I did, wait, I did wake up a little bit before the kids with fits um, when he was born because I would go work out in the morning sometimes. But since having Harper and now Hendrix, I am so tired. And then I also had started my business when Harper was born. So I would always be working into the night because I became a stay at home mom when Harper was born. That I was just maximizing all of my time that I just didn't really take much time for myself and it's caught up to me because i feel like so burnt out so often i have all this concealer on my lips but now i have to rush like i normally do because i live in the bed and that's my makeup routine except mascara which i'm not putting on mascara right now because i'm going to get a massage and it'll end up smear all over my face so See this cute little makeup bag? I'll link this in the bio. Bye hotel. This was amazing. Wonderful stay. Something is happening with my bangs right now. Bangs are not banging. I gotta figure out this overnight, how to situate my hair in a bonnet, in my scarf, so my bangs are still nice and fluffy, because they're not, they're just everywhere. Mm. But remember how I was telling y'all about getting some teeth? That's not gonna happen. I feel like such a new person. I feel so relaxed. I feel so calm. 
I was like so tempted to just do the membership because they have a membership for like $79 a month. And that would give you like, I don't know, a facial or a massage or mani-pedi or some sort of hair service each month. And I'm like, man, like that would like really maybe force me to just like prioritize self-care. But I'm gonna pray about it. to see if that's the best use of like my funds. Although self-care, like when it comes to my health, that's like one thing that I don't really uh, try to be cheap about because it's my health, it's my life. So we shall see, we shall see. I think when I was in there, I was like, maybe I'll just plan one day a month where I'll come on one of the days that the kids are in school and just have my massage, maybe do a facial, sit in the sauna or the steam room, which like literally I just probably sweat two pounds out, but I feel so good. So then I get to go back and see my family. But this was such a great staycation. And mamas, if you are like feeling overwhelmed, I just encourage you to just consider it. Even if it's not an overnight thing, like maybe it's just, oh my gosh, look at my makeup. <laughs> um, Maybe it's just like a day thing and you just treat yourself and find affordable ways to do it. Groupon or just other sales um, that you can find to treat yourself. And I'm, I am going to be doing more of this in 2024. Like that is that is the goal but thanks for joining me for this staycation see you guys next time